Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today, while the majority of us are eagerly awaiting iOS 9.2 and hopefully in turn a brand new jailbreak for iOS 9.1 and up, I wanted to create this video to share 10 more top Cydia tweaks with you guys for iOS 9.0.2, pre-iOS 9.1 and 9.2. All right, so to preface this video, you will need to be jailbroken to install any of the tweaks I'm about to highlight. If you're on 9.0.2 and you have yet to jailbreak, I will have a direct link on your screens now to my untethered jailbreak tutorial. However, if you're on iOS 9.1 or 9.2 beta or even the public version, if you're watching this video at a later date, you won't be able to jailbreak, at least not as of recording this video. I will have a direct link for you guys right now if you're watching this on desktop in the cards to my latest jailbreak update playlist. And once a new jailbreak is available, it will be updated there. And then all of the tweaks I'm about to go over will function for you again on 9.1 and 9.2, provided there is a new jailbreak for those firmwares. All right, so let's go ahead and just get into today's list, which I will have linked for you guys down below in the more info. It's just more convenient to consolidate everything on a post. What's more, all compatible Cydia tweaks for iOS 9 will be listed there in a spreadsheet format. So you can find even more than the 10 tweaks I'm about to highlight. So first we have a cool tweak called Splitify, which basically adds partial split screen support to unsupported devices like the iPhone. Obviously this does work best on larger devices like the iPhone 6 and up, preferably the plus size, which is what I have here. So the iPhone 6S Plus. As you can see, it brings kind of that slide overview on the newer iPads on iOS 9 to smaller screens. So just by swiping over here, I'm able to access my notes app and we can actually pull down and you can see some of your other recently opened applications that you can also swap out. Again, it works just like you'd expect and it's even better when you actually tilt your device into landscape mode. However, oddly enough, even though the city listing for Splitify actually actually shows a device inside of landscape mode with complete access to both panes, so the one that you have on the left and the app you have on the right. I unfortunately haven't been able to get that to work properly. I can only access that slide overview. And let me give you guys a quick example of when this could be awesome. So say you're inside of Safari here, you're actually inside of landscape mode reading an article and you want to take note of something. All you'd have to do is just swipe over and then pull down to get the note app in inside of that pane there, and then you can access your keyboard and type. So as you can see here, we can easily type and add to our note just like you'd expect. Now, if you do own an older iPad that doesn't support those awesome multitasking features, then you can install this tweak here. It's called Medusa for iPad. So here's the tweak, and as for the description, it states Medusa for iPad enables slide over and split view from the iPad Pro or also the iPad Air 2 or Mini 4, exclusive features for all iPads running iOS 9. So if you want something even better than Splitify and you own an iPad, check out Medusa for iPad. Next, you've probably already noticed this one by now. It's called Goodges. So essentially what it does is it replaces the badges with kind of these labels here. So for Twitter, you'll notice that it does say 20 notifications. Instead of actually having a notification badge, it simply states it and it kind of replaces the name. So it just cleans up the look of apps on your home screen with notifications notifications. When you actually go inside of the settings pane for Goodges, you have a few different options. You have find controls over the labels here. You can even select different colors. And of course, once you respring, those should apply. So you can customize it to your heart's content, but I just left it how it was by default. Moving along nicely, we have native YouTube share. So I'm just going to launch up the YouTube app here. And you may have noticed that when you actually go to share a video, it's incredibly annoying. Instead of being directly able to share the video properly, you have to do it through YouTube's ever so annoying share method. Well, now with this tweak installed, you just get native share options when inside of a video and tapping the share button. So as you can see here, we do have the regular menu and let's say I wanted to send it to myself, I can just tap on message there and now we have just the URL without the annoying text that accompanies it by default. For number five, we have a tweak called Sensio and that actually modifies Cydia. So let's go back to 
city here. And when we go to any single package, we do have new information. We have details and then we can switch to reviews. So on some of the more popular packages, people have actually reviewed them. Let's go ahead and go to top charts here, which is another completely new section that Sensio actually adds. It tries to bring Cydia closer to the feel of the app store. So now for top paid, we can go to BioProtect, for example, we can see that it does have about four and a half stars from 19 reviews. So tapping on the review tab now, we can actually receive written reviews as well, just like you'd expect inside of the app store. Obviously, when you just rate it, you don't necessarily have to give it a review, but this individual decided to for BioProtect. So we can actually go to free, and this will give you some more ideas of other tweaks that you can obtain outside of my top tweaks list, because of course you can just go to the top charts and install some tweaks from here. Now it does have a few different oddities with it. For example, this cell just appears blank and it states error. Delete forever is a lightweight yet surprisingly cool tweak that adds the option to actually permanently delete your photos. When you go to delete images with delete forever installed, it adds a permanent delete button. Cylinder is like the incredibly popular paid barrel tweak, yet it's free and it adds even more functionality. So just inside of settings cylinder, you can go to effects and you can set whatever you want. You can also create formulas so it applies two or more effects while actually going through the page animations. Now I have mentioned this tweak before, however in my past Cydia Tweaks videos for iOS 9 it wasn't functioning properly, now it is. So what we can do again is just set multiple effects here. You can see when you actually have one set and then you tap on another one, it adds a number to it. That's the order in which these effects will actually play through. So cube inside no zoom is the first one and then we have card vertical as the second. And then of course you can create formulas like I stated previously. All you have to do is just apply the effects you want and then tap on create new formula and then you can just tap on other formulas that you have saved to apply them. So before we just had the cube, now as you can see it has merged those two effects. Some of them don't always play nicely together. However, if you just want to apply one effect, all you have to do is just untoggle the others. So as you can see now we do have card vertical and it looks really nice just like that. One tap clear is a tweak that's on my all time favorites list. When you're inside of notification center instead of having to tap the X followed by clear all you have to do is just tap the X and it will automatically dismiss the set of notifications that you're actually tapping X on. For the ninth tweak in light of the upcoming new Star Wars movie we have Zeppelin. Now this is a really popular Cydia tweak. Once you install it you just have to go into settings Zeppelin enable it and then you can select your theme. By default you have a few different options here as you can see when we tap on Batman it immediately applies it so getting a close up there we do have the Batman logo. We can also set the Apple logo and it's really just as easy as that. But for Star Wars if you want an additional icon pack all you have to do is search for Star Wars Zeppelin The Force Awakens and as you can see here it is. So it's this version right here from the Mod My Eye repo and when we actually scroll down it states that it includes support for iPhone 6 and 6 plus three times resolution so you will get some really high quality Zeppelin icons here. Finally for the tenth one we have Status Bright. There are really no settings for this aside from just having to enable it. Once it is then you can just slide on your status bar like so to adjust the brightness. So now we're at full brightness and then we just tap on the time really and then we can slide down and it will decrease the brightness. Of course you do have to let go between your swipes there. Let's go ahead and try that again. It looks like I missed it. There we go. It did adjust the brightness accordingly that time around. So it's just very simple and it's actually a little bit easier than having to open up control center and do it this way. So I hope you guys like this video. This has been my third installment of Top City of Tweaks for iOS 9. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Also share some of your favorite tweaks there and they may make the cut for the next episode in this series. If you guys want to be updated more often such as when I release new videos covering top tweaks or even the next on Tether Jailbreak, click the subscribe button below if you have yet to, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And finally if you want a chance to win a brand new fourth generation
gen Apple TV. Before my giveaway concludes, just go to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari and sign up. Once you do, download sponsored apps for points. It doesn't matter what you download, just so long as you do earn points. Then go to the third tab at the bottom and take what appears after the equals symbol inside of that referral link there and post it in the comment section of my unboxing of the device, the fourth gen Apple TV. I will have it linked for you guys directly now in the cards. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.